Okay, page 304, section 4.4. Let's look at number 6. Number 6 here, we have negative 4p squared times parenthesis of 5, 5p4. Let me write this clear. So be 5p4. So this sentence, chapter 4.1. One, you multiply number times number, negative four times five, then p times p, base are the same. You write down one base, you combine the exponents. So here ends will be negative 20, p to the six. And next, let's look at number eight. Okay, number eight, we have five n to the third power and 4 times a negative 4 m square n to the fifth power. Again, you multiply number times number, 5 times negative 4 m, the same variable times same variable, so write down 1 m. You combine the exponents, then n, you write down 1 n, you combine the exponents, so the answer will be negative 20 and 5 and 9. Next, let's look at number 10. Number 10 here we have 5y times 6, parenthesis of 6y plus 1. So here, every time you have a number outside the parenthesis, you need to take that number, multiply into the parenthesis. So 5 times 6 equal to 30 y times y become y squared. Then next, 5 times 1, 5y five times 1, so become plus 5y. Now let's look at number 14. Number 14, we have 5r to the third power times parenthesis of 2r squared plus 3r plus 4. So again, every time you have a number outside the parenthesis, you need to take that number, multiply into the parenthesis. Okay, so 5 times 2, that gives you a 10. R times R, you write down 1R, you combine the exponents, so it'll be 3 plus 2, that's a 5. The next 5 times 3 will be a plus 15. R times R, write down 1R, 3 and 1, you don't see any exponents, that's 1. So 3 plus 1, that's a 4. Then after that, 5 times 4 will be a plus 20. Keep the R to the third power. Now let's look at number 34. Number 34, we have P plus 4, P minus 6. For this section, we are going to use the, right here, we're going to use the four-year method. Okay, we're going to use the four-year method. Four-year method, there are four steps. Each step, you multiply the two number. Okay, we have four steps. Each step, you multiply the four number. So here, step one, P times P is P squared. Step two, P times negative six, that becomes negative six P. Step three, P times Four times p will be a plus four p. Step four. Four times negative six becomes negative twenty-four. After that, we're gonna combine the like term. Usually, the two like term will be two number in the middle. Okay, the two number in the middle. So here, we are going to combine. Let me write this down. Okay, negative six p plus four p. Negative six plus four will be a negative two. Keep the p. Then after that bring down the minus 24, then that's the answer. Next, let's look at number 36. Number 36, we have 5w plus 2 times 2w minus 5. Again, let's use the FOIL method. Step 1, step 2, Step 3, step 4. Okay, step 1. 5w times 2w. 5 times 2 is 10. w times w becomes w squared. 
Step 2, 5w times negative 5, so become negative 25w. Step 3, 2 times 2w, so become plus 4w. Step 4, 2 times negative 5, so become negative 10. After that, let's combine the like term. Keep the 10w square. Now going to combine the two numbers in the middle. Negative 5 plus 4 become negative 21. Keep the w. Then bring down the minus 10. Next. Let's look at number. Let's look at number 40, 42 then. Number 42. Number 42, we have s minus t times parenthesis of 2s plus 5t. Again, for your method, step 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, step 1, s times 2s, so become 2s squared. Step 2, s times 5t become plus 5 s t next step 3 negative t times 2s will be negative 2s t i always go by the alphabet okay so w x y z o r s t so s before t so we're gonna put in the same order keep as s t step 4 negative t times 5t become negative 5t times t become t squared. Then after that, let's combine the like term. Keep the 2s squared. Here we have plus 5 minus 2 become plus 3st. Then bring down the minus 5t squared. Next, let's look at number 46. 46. We have z plus 6 and z minus 6. Over here, we can use the FOIL method. Or there's another method we can use called the difference of 2 squared. For, for, for the difference of 2 squared, you can look at the number inside the parenthesis. The number, they are exactly the same. Okay, see, the number, they are exactly the same. But they have what? Different sign. Okay, one must be plus, one must be minus. Doesn't matter which one plus. Uh, which one be minus? One must be plus, one must be minus. If number inside the parenthesis, they are exactly the same, the sign they are different, all you need to do, you need to square the first number, you square the last number. The middle sign must be a minus, okay? Put a minus in between, okay? So the answer will be z square minus 36. This is much easier, okay? Now, let's look at number 50. Number 50, we have 6y minus 3 times 6y plus 3. Again, number inside the parenthesis, they are exactly the same. Both have 6y and 3. One's plus, one's minus. So we can use the formula for difference of two square. So all you need to do is just square the first number. You square the last number. You put a minus in between. So 6y squared becomes 36 y squared, keep the minus, 3 squared, that's a 9. Okay, now, let's look at number 52. Here we have 5r plus 4s, 5r minus 4s. Again, number inside the parenthesis, they are exactly the same. The sign, they are different. So all you need to do, just square the first number, you square the last number, you put a minus in between. The 5r squared become 25r squared. Keep the minus 4s squared become 16s squared. 